Welcome back. This is a real working 28-acre boatyard slash boat building facility residing in Stewart, Florida. It's Shipshape TV's home base. Ideally located, the complex is situated on the shores of the Okeechobee Waterway, which happens to connect the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. Now once again, here's the founder and host of Shipshape TV, John Graviscus. Thanks, Buck. We've gone ahead and moved back to my home base, American Custom Yachts in Stewart, Florida. And now that our T-top is waxed, I want to wire it. And I brought Dominic Lacami Jr. on the program, who's a true expert. He heads up IMS American. And you guys are probably one of the world's finest marine electronics installers, okay, that there are. And you do some really trick stuff to some boats, okay? What, what do you call those TVs that kind of raise up out of a cabinet? They're actually uh, pop-up lifts, John. Uh, we, have, we have that style as well as flip-down lifts that we can install on boats or homes. Okay, now you work with all the major marine electronics companies with radars and GPSs and all that. Yep. But I've been to some homes here in the area that you guys have actually done. You, you, you do a lot of entertainment systems yep. for people. And, and some of the intricacies that you guys can do programming wise with the remotes on multiple screens or security cameras or whatever is just off the charts, Thank man. You. But what we have to do is, remember I had to pull all of the original wire from the T-top off prior to it getting sandblasted mm -hmm. and then prior to it getting powder coated. Okay. Well, I have to run some new wire down. What gauge of wire, how thick of wire should we run from our battery up through eventually the T-top, and I want to bring in this right here. This is a fiberglass electronics box. Okay. What type of wire should we use? We should, you should always stick to a marine grade copper tin, and we've chosen 10-2 for this length of run. Based who, who, on who dictates the thickness of the wire? Actually, there's a, uh, an organization called ABYC. Okay, and the ABYC is the American Boat and Yacht Council, and this governing body uh, oversees boat builders, making sure that they're building boats safely for us consumers. Now. We're going to have to connect this 10-2 wire to the battery. What connectors would you recommend? John, we'll start with the uh, ring terminal at the battery here. Okay, and we would crimp this on, and this is heat shrink that we would heat up, and that's going to seal the copper tin wire so that no corrosion could get exactly. in. Exactly. So we've got the battery end taken care of. What are we going to do inside the electronics box? Because I want to distribute some power. I'm thinking about marine speakers. I'm thinking about a VHF radio, a stereo okay. I want to put in here. What do we do? Actually, we like to use this Blue Sea Systems fuse block, uh, which actually carries your positive and your negative leads into it as well. Okay, so, so we're going to have to bring one leg of this you got it. to one side. That'll be our positive, and then we'll have to run it back to our negative. Exactly. Okay, and this is also a built-in ground block. Exactly. Okay. What are the fuses about? Well, actually, we'd like to fuse any piece of equipment that you'd like to put on the boat for proper protection. You'd like to fuse the equipment to protect yourself from having to replace expensive equipment down the road when you have a surge or some sort of electrical shock. Dominic, there are a lot of complicated curves and twists yep. going into the frame of this T-top. What are we going to use fish-wise? Okay, well, actually, we brought two different styles of fish that we like to use on the boats. The first being a more flexible fiberglass style allows you to make a lot of different curves that you're talking about on this particular T-top. And if you have a few straighter runs or shorter runs, the steel tape is actually easier to pull. It stays much sturdier and uh, allows the wire to go along with it. What's the black cord all about? John, the black cord is for uh, future, pr future protection from having to run wires. You've already run your wires in the boat, but at the same time, if you pull yourself and ensure yourself you have this type of cord, next time when you go to add something to your box, add something to your T-top, you have something to pull from. You always want to leave a fish back behind if you ever need to add an accessory. Exactly. That is awesome. Okay, like I mentioned, a good quality marine electronics installer is, is kind of hard to find. Yep. They're, they're few and far between. How would somebody at home get a hold of IMS American? Uh, you can actually check us out on our website at uh, imsamerican.com. Hey Bolton, Shipshape TV will be back in a snap.